Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to go over how to make a triangle using a polygon tool. A polygon tool can be found right here on, on the bottom of the menu bar and if you don't see it at the moment you can just right click on it and then you're gonna see a variety of other tools. So if you see any other tools just right click on it and select the polygon tool. Now, once we have that, there are three major characteristics that we have to modify. So the first one is sides. So a triangle has three sides, therefore we're going to choose three right here. The second and the third option is fill and stroke. So fill represents basically what's inside a triangle and stroke represents what's on the outline of the triangle. So if I have green on inside and black on outside, I should receive something like this, right? This is the first one. However, let's go back to the polygon tool and this time let's create a transparent um, triangle on the inside and with a black outline, right? So I'll just click on this. So a red, like diagonal red line with a white background means it's transparent. So no color. And okay, it already affected this one but should we decide to, I just deselected the layer. So if I go once more, and if I go on the fill and no color, and if I draw another rectangle right now, this one doesn't have the, uh, the color on the inside. And then we can do one more. So for example, let's say we don't want any stroke, we can do the same thing and perhaps we just want a color on the inside. So something like this. So there's a variety of ways you can manipulate your, your triangle. Plus, for example, if you're going for a stroke, let's say I'll pick the first one. So the one with the green ins on the inside and the black on the outside. If we pick this one, um, we can, for example, change, let's say, the outline. So it doesn't have to be a straight line. It can be, you know, just cat line. For example like this or we can do something like this so there are a variety of options again right so this is how you basically create a triangle this is how you can modify it i hope you all guys enjoyed learned something new and yeah i'll be seeing you in the next tutorial see ya